and I have the coffee here. It is so good. Oh my God, thank you. I know, I'm literally, I'm drinking one too, like no joke. It's so necessary today. It's a very mo Monday, Monday. Agreed. Um, so first and foremost, I mean, just how does it feel having your own brand out in the world? It is so surreal. I mean, it, it's just been my dream since I was little. And ever since I started drinking coffee and like started going to cafes as kind of a escape for me, I guess. It's just always been my dream. Like I've always wanted to do something with coffee, whether that was be a barista or this is like 10 times even cooler for me. It's just surreal. And it's, I'm just so grateful. And it, it's like moments like this, when I get to you know, make a passion project come to life. Like it's moments like this that make everything make sense. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because there's so many different elements. Hi. There's so many different elements of, you know, the kind of job in a sense that I have. And it's like, there's so many different ways that you can go. And, you know, being able to make this dream come true for me is, you know, because of my other things that I've done is just so cool that I can like make them all work together. Does that make sense? I, yeah. you know, well, just, like your other endeavors allowed you to do something you're passionate about. Yes. And that is just such a blessing to me. Yeah. I love what you said too, about just like cafes being an escape like that for you. Cause I feel completely the same way. Like I work better in a kind of like bustling little side street cafe than in my own apartment by myself. Same. Thousand percent. Same. Yeah. I always used to have this dream that I wanted to open. I was like, if nothing works out for me, I want to just open like a flower shop cafe where you like pick your own stems. I can sell, I'll sell your coffee. Oh my God. I would love that. See, like that is so, <laughs> that is so cute. I love that. No, but really it's true. It's like, there's something so therapeutic about like being, you know, kind of away from home for a second it almost makes you feel like you're anywhere you want to be because coffee shops are so like everywhere like you can go anywhere and find a cute coffee shop and it always feels the same like it's always so comforting every single time whether you're in like Europe or you're you know five minutes away from home and that's what I love about it like it, it always feels like a different it feels very removed always yeah. and I just, like, love that um me too it's special. So when it came to taste testing, you know, getting all of the different blends together, what was that like for you? Like, what was the science kind of behind your role in that? It was really tough because although like it's overwhelming, I think that's a good word for it because I am still learning so much about the actual mechanics of everything and like how all of it works. And so it's been a lot of information in a short amount of time, but it was so exciting to like kind of break everything down and like taste every individual origin and like, you know, taste all of them and like think about, you know, what elements I like of each and like what would play off of one another and like mixing things and like, you know, just spending hours on it and just trying to like figure it out. You don't, think about the behind the scenes element. And when you love something a lot, that's something that you want to do. And so, you know, the fact that I've been able to learn about that has just been so exciting, but it's just honestly a lot of trial and error, like tasting something being like, eh, I don't like that, but I do like one part of it, but I love everything about this one. Maybe we add a little bit of this to this and then you're just trying and you know, whatever. Um, it's just a lot of time Definitely. to make it yeah. Well, and the packaging is so cute and fun. Did you kind of design that on your own? How did that come about? We luckily, I've been so grateful to have such an amazing team. And after we initially launched Chamberlain Coffee, we were like, you know, let's expand this team and like, let's really bring people in who like share the same love for coffee and have even more of an expertise in di different areas and like, you know, make it as amazing as it can be. And so we, um, we brought a bunch of people in and, you know, we just all started working together on like making this new aesthetic. And I definitely think I'm somebody who's very picky about the packaging of things, the aesthetic of things and all of that. And so 
we wanted to make it perfect because I think that the first round, it was like less exciting to me than I wanted it to be. And so we just like, I sent them a thousand mood boards, like just sending them mood boards constantly. It was just like, whatever. And then they would kind of make something and then I'd be like, okay, let's, you know, change all of this. And then after a bunch of back and forth, I mean, seriously, for like months, we finally found the perfect color scheme and all of that. Um, and I mean, I wouldn't have been able to do it without the artists and everybody who made that what it really is. But I definitely was like, I had a vision for sure. Yeah. Um, but they just put it to life in the most beautiful way. So it was so amazing. Yeah, I love it. I love all the colors. And I feel like it is really just kind of on your brand. Like it's just, it's totally. fun, it's different. Um, it's great. I, I really love it. And I love that you did the steeped coffee too, not just, you know, ground. Do you see yourself getting into K-Cups? Like what's next for the brand? Yeah, I mean, we started with the bags and then we were like, okay, well now we need to do beans and ground beans and like whatever. We need to like expand a little bit. Down the line, I mean, there's kind of like sky's the limit, right? I think for us, as long as the quality and like, you know, it being organic and fair trade and like all that, as long as all of that is there, we're super open-minded. I mean, who knows what's next, but we also really prioritize like the environment and like our impact on the environment. And so we try to make sure that every single product that we have is thoughtful of that as much as possible. And so it's kind of this little middle area where it's like things that are convenient and easy and fun to use, but also have the other, you know, things in mind, like that packaging and stuff. I mean, packaging is hard, you know, it's like one of those things that I think everybody's becoming so aware of. And so it definitely makes it harder to create new products because you kind of have to go outside of the box a little bit to make sure that you're being mindful. But besides that, I mean, who knows? That's the limit. Right. Love that. Um, now, going into your career a little bit more, um, in one of your recent YouTube videos, <laughs> you jokingly had talked about yeah. um, fighting, that you couldn't fight Charlie because she right. is too sweet. Now, she has a brand deal with Duncan. Like, now that she has her own coffee, I mean, what do you think? <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> no, I actually, it was the most amazing collaboration. I haven't talked about this with anyone yet, but I've been like, thinking about it and seeing it the most genius collaboration I've ever seen so good I was like I remember I saw that and I was like do you know what I know I love Charlie with my whole heart and you know I I would normally be angry and very <laughs> mad but this is the one exception because that is the most iconic collaboration I've ever seen um and I still don't think I could fight her and to be honest I think that if anyone fought me, they would win so like it wouldn't be fair to myself to like go into a ring with anyone because I know I would lose immediately, unfortunately. As would I. Right. We can just sit on the sidelines together and sip coffee. I'll be the cheerleader with my coffee. Done. Perfect. Perfect. Um, now, what is some of the best advice you've ever received, would you say? Okay, you know what? This is good. This is from my dad. My dad is the best advice giver ever. I always tend to get caught up, right, with like every little thing in the process of a bigger picture because – with every project, there's a bigger picture, whether it's the coffee thing, YouTube channel, podcast, whatever. I always get caught up in like every single video or like, you know, individual video or, you know, at one like shipping mishap could happen. And I'm focused on that and I'm not looking at the bigger picture. And he always says like, you know, you fix the problem, you complete your project, blah, 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 you move on. Like, don't look back, keep moving forward and don't ever look at the other stuff. Like, it doesn't matter. All you have control over is like, what's next? What's happened has happened. Work on making the next thing 10 times better. You know, don't dwell on that because you can, sp I spend so much time just dwelling on like all this dumb stuff that already happened. So don't do that. Focus on the next step. Yeah. I loved one of your recent videos with, um, like walking through a mental breakdown with you because yes. it's very similar. But yeah. Maybe like every other week I'll have one in quarantine. Same. How do you measure success? For me, success is, well, I definitely have pretty severe, what I think it's called imposter syndrome where mm -hmm. you like not, you cannot 
comprehend or accept success in yes. any way, shape or form. And I've talked to a therapist about it and they're like, you need to fix that. And I'm like, well, that's your job to tell me how to fix it. And you don't need, so we'll talk about that later. But um, I have really bad imposter syndrome. So for me, success has nothing to do with a number on a screen or like, you know, an amount of money. Like there's no measure for me. It, it, for me, success is feeling genuinely happy and content with what I'm creating and doing on a day-to-day -day basis and having like a good support system around me to celebrate with me. And I think that that is what success is for me. There's no fun in succeeding if you're alone. There's no fun in succeeding if you can't share that excitement and you know that passion with others like that to me is what it is and you know i'm really grateful for my that i i mean it's there's pros and cons to not understanding your own success but i'd say that the pro is that i'm more focused on like my quality of life you know what i mean and that's where the success is for me i love that that's really good advice too for you know people in the same position as you. Thank you. And then before we go today, I have a little game if you're willing to play. Um, oh. If I, I'm going to name a celeb, a random celebrity, and I want you to give a quick elevator pitch to them about why they should drink your coffee. Okay, great. <laughs> okay. Rihanna. Rihanna, you have the most amazing aesthetic, the most amazing vision, and you're an icon, like it, period. I feel like I can picture somebody walking down the runway in your outfit, wait, in Fenty. Why not keep the vibes consistent and drink my coffee? It all goes hand in hand. I could see it on a runway, period. That's, that's it. I love it's that. It's nerve-wracking. I'm like, Rihanna, like, I'm scared of you. Like, I, I'm literally like, God, like, imagine pitching coffee to her, you know? Like, it's scary. What about Jennifer Aniston? Jennifer Aniston, I never watched Friends, which is, and I'm so sorry. I really am. That is like insulting and terrible. But um, Jennifer, I take a lot of inspo from your fashion when you were on Friends. I love your aesthetic. I love your vision there. And I feel like if we have similar fashion sense, what does that say about our taste in coffee? I feel like they would be identical. Therefore, I will send a box to your house and you can send me some of your old clothes and we can make a deal. I love that. That's perfect. And Thank especially because she was a barista in France. Now that now you know. Oh send my God. Me? Done. Same person. Same person. You you knew. All right. And then the last one, Cardi B. Cardi, I can only imagine that when you're performing, you need a lot of caffeine. I mean, seriously, her performances are insane. Like I can't even imagine the amount of energy that you expend, right? I want to be your source of that energy. And I know that I could be that. We have a bunch of different caffeine levels and all of that so that you can choose how much you need for your performance. And we have it on the packaging. It says how much caffeine is in it so that you know what you're getting yourself into. And so you're at the perfect level for your performance so that everything goes smoothly and that everybody in the crowd is going crazy. That's my pitch for you. Um, I hope you accept. And I also would love for you to teach me how to rap. Done. Sold. Done. Sold. I feel like I'm going to make sure they all see this. Morning. I feel like they'd love it now. Absolutely. I think we need to do this again. We'll just I keep know. going. We'll keep yeah. going. I love this game. Oh, I love it. Well, Emma, this was so much fun. Such a blast with you. Thank you for your time today. Thank and you. This was great. Yes, you are too. Hopefully we'll meet in person soon. Yes. Love it. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Have a good day. Have a good week.